What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy and light Lucifer and Prince coming at y'all once again. I know I said in my previous video I was going to do a video based on the obstructionist tactics of clerks, and I'm going to just go ahead and be raw, real, and uncut with it. But before I proceed, as I always say in certain aspects of my videos, this does not constitute legal advice, nor does it constitute anything anti-government. The sole purpose of this information is for educational and informational purposes only. Now, over the years, I've ran into a lot of people who told me countless stories of clerks obstructing their paperwork. Now, this is usually on a county level. And the reason why on a county level they try to obstruct your documentation is because, remember, the ultimate remedy to keep yourself out of personal liability and to place that liability on, quote unquote, the establishment called the government corporation is the UCC-1. Although all states have to make a provision in accordance with their statutes to provide for Article 9 of the UCC-1, uh, or the UCC, I should say, provision, is very applicable, it's very legal. It's just that a lot of state officials and a lot of people in the higher up ranks in state particular uh, uh, realms in the unknown, I should say, as opposed to the clerical level, are basically trying to keep themselves out of hot water. You have to realize that one of the most significant remedies that you could ever focus on in your personal life is the UCC. Now, I know this might seem extravagant to some people, too good to be true, but it is the truth. This is one of the reasons why they try to obstruct you from filing your documentation on county record level. Why? Because it's in a direct attestation that these people are responsible for the debts in which they actually try to accrue against you, meaning that their state their state coffers lose money every time they try to take a claim or some sort of prosecution against you. It is the number one most fundamentally legal and definite and effective remedies that you actually have at your disposal. I, and if you're watching this around kids, please, Take them out the room. I don't give a fuck what nobody says on these channels. You have to understand that once you master this process, you now become the holder in due course of your commercial affairs and you are not you are no longer considered a debtor entity. However, there's disinformation and misinformation agents on these channels who often try to persuade you or dissuade you at best to try to make sure that you never reach that high potential in your commercial responsibility. They are full of shit, and a lot of them will steal your money. I'm just being blunt. It is what it is. Now, if people don't like what I have to say, pause this video or stop it and just keep rolling because it is a very significant truth. And the only way I would know that a person who doesn't like what I have to say, you're a fucking agent. You are somebody who is hired by the opposition to stop people from actually maxim maximizing their own personal um, accountability in their commercial atmosphere. And that's what oppressors do. See, oppressors don't want to be responsible. They'll crush, crush, crush along the way, but they'll never allow you to assert yourself. Watch these people when it comes to these processes, people. Yes, this shit is very effective. It makes most of these people turn ghost white. Yes, it does. But to keep you from having a headache and to keep you from actually becoming combative with these obstructionists, which is basically people who operate on state level, you need to learn how to put your records publicly or place your records on public record. Now, what am I saying? In my previous video, when it said notice to county clerk, it didn't say court clerk because court clerks are instruments of the agents of chaos. They are not going to file certain paperwork. If you have a pending court case, they're not going to sit here and try to file the paperwork according to your court case because they know that it falls in your favor because you have now significant proofs of claim. However, if you file your paperwork in public record, that means, say for instance, if you had a criminal trial or you had some sort of civil trial in which you needed the public to be accessible to your documentation, you wouldn't use an obstructionist person such as a court clerk or depend on them to actually disseminate this information properly because it is in a controlled, minimal environment. Public record, which is where we pick the juries from, is extensive and unlimited. Now, if indeed you do battle with these 
agents of chaos, these deceivers. Now your jury pool can access the documentation in which you wish to present as evidence to your defense. It's public record. Now, why do you place it on public record? Number one, there's no limitation to the duration to how long public record lasts, except for the duration of the time of the individual entity who actually placed it on record is existed. In other words, it's good as long as you live. However, court cases are only determinative from the time it actually is an open case to an adjudication. That's limited, as opposed to public record, which is basically unlimited in its scope, and basically it's uncensored. Now, how would you go about placing this, these documentations on public record, you might be asking? Well, let's get one thing straight. First off, you don't send your documentation to the county clerk. You don't. A lot of people may have tried this. This is not how it works. I'm going to show you something that I did myself years ago, probably 11 years ago to be exact, and to show you that this is very real and how you execute it. Now, this is my very own speaker's card. This is what it is, because this is the minutes of the meeting that were recorded for the documentation that I placed on record, and the transcript and the documentation that specifically detailed what I placed on record was given the item number. See that? It says speaker's card. The item number, they messed up. I didn't do that. Speaker's card. Meaning that when you go to a county meeting or a county commissioner's meeting, wherever you live, whatever they call it, in your DJ or sub-political division, whatever they wish to call it, you have to realize that now you are putting on record what these documentations specify. The only thing that you actually have to make sure is actually up to date anytime you make changes to it is your security agreement if indeed anything changes. All you have to do is just update and just do it again. What you would do is you would go to your county's website. You would look at the meetings that they would have as far as public meetings, because we all have public access channels, especially if you live in a metropolitan area, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That's those little boring gas channels when you just click, 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 and you see them talking about a bunch of nothing. That's where your records go. The minutes are recorded via a camera, via audio, and transcribed via a stenographer. So now you have a direct reference. And then when they give you an item number to your record, now you have a record reference to individuals such as third parties who would like to receive the documentation and they can refer to the county records because now it is public record and public record is domain overall. So people don't know that public notice is superior to private notice as opposed to a closed court case. So let's just say that you had to go to a trial, so to speak. And the courts were trying to obstruct your paperwork or trying to, you know, pull those little tactics to keep their asses safe because they're committing fraud. And they know they're committing fraud, but they don't want the jury to know they're committing fraud. You can instruct your jury to go down with the item number to the, your county commissioner's office and pick up the documentation in which the court doesn't want them to have access to. And the court has no access to the public because they are private. So they cannot tell other people what to do in their own personal life because the jury as according to their constitution, says particularly that these, is, these are the individuals who make the common law. Common law is something that's common to us all. So if you have access to them, they should have access to it too. The court should not monopolize upon the fact that they can actually obstruct your paperwork from being available to the general public, which is where they pick the juries from. You just learned a very significant truth in less than 10 minutes. A lot of people try to combat these entities or they try to persuade them or make them seem like, well, you have to. Well, when it's inside of a court scenario, the only time you are only supposed to present your paperwork inside of a court is when you appear special, not general, appear to actually produce this, this, this prima facie evidence to your adversary. Because once it's in open court, there is no recanting that you ever showed it or there is no recanting the fact that you actually displayed this in an act of good faith to resolve the court matter. If you try to go to a court clerk and try to file it before, you just gave your adversary a heads up and now they can duly insulate themselves from any attack that you would otherwise provide in your defense.
You have to understand that these people do not want this stuff to be known. Not to mention, this is something you were never supposed to know about in the first place. So don't you think that since you weren't supposed to know about it and you can actually master the processes, that they will not try to scramble or try any other negative tactic that they can to actually obstruct you from completing your goal? They lose money, they lose faith in the public, and they become exposed for the frauds that they are. This is a proven fact. Once you also put your affidavit or trademark copyright on public record, now you also let other people know that in regards to the fraud being enacted upon you and your estate, you can provide by prima facie evidence that they are engaging in fraud. So if you told 12 juries, 12 jurors, I should say, of your peers that these people are committing fraud and you have the documentation to prove that they're committing fraud, what do you think the outcome is going to be? Don't you think they will try to rush for a hasty decision prior to going to trial? The number one thing you need to learn about the system is they never want to be exposed for the practices and the craft that they actually proceed against you with. So they want you to believe that you owe them something. You don't owe the system anything as long as you do not harm a person or their property. Period. You don't owe them shit. Don't believe that whole debt to society shit. That is indoctrinating. That is that is a slave driving mentality to make you submit to the will of an intimidating and in a, a totally uh, coercive environment called court. That's what it is. You don't owe the court system anything. They draw these things up, which are called bills or also called prosecutorial bonds. And then they make you believe by coercion or d consent by assent that you are accountable for something. What most people don't do is ever challenge correctly why these procedures are often levied against you and your estate and your physical self is always held within regards to account of something that you didn't know how to handle in the first place. That's why I tell a lot of people, when you go to these channels, whatever the case may be, a lot of channels lost momentum over the years, whatever the case may be, but I'm gonna keep the fire going because you need to learn the power of attorney, in fact, and how to assert yourself before this commercial construct. Simple, you know, you need to learn this stuff. Put this stuff on public record, let it be known publicly, and as tedious as it may seem, it often works out for the best. Don't ever think you're gonna cast seeds into the ground and get an instantaneous crop. No, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes care. You have to pull up the weeds because, yes, even on these channels, there's a lot of motherfucking weeds. We try to grow up around this content. That's why I tell people, contact me privately for information because yesteryear, people was trying to monetize off things that I was actually just spitting out there. It's not going to work like that today. You know, it's not going to work like that. And yes, it's a lot of motherfucking goddamn weeds amongst the weed. So I'm just letting y'all know that this is the way it works. These people will convince you of something that they know nothing about, but I'm telling you this because I did it my goddamn self damn 12 years ago. <laughs> so a bitch can't tell me nothing. I'm sorry, and I'm not arrogant. I'm very humble when it comes to this, but I went through this stuff. I went through these experiences. I went through the obstruction tactics. I went through the coercion. I went through the duress. I went through the manipulation. I went through the fraud. I went through it myself. So this is not something that I'm speaking on on behalf of experience or some lackadaisical approach to what I'm saying. I went through this shit. I went through it and can say that I made it. You know what I'm saying? So for all the naysayers out there, it is what it is. Say what you want. But I got the receipts and the transcripts for everything that I say. Every instance. Got the proof. Now, every D-Jure sub-political uh, division that you may domicile in, you have to realize they're all different, but they're all the same. Their tactics are different, but they're all the same. You have to realize that once you start exposing people for the fraud that they are, they start to lose their commercial momentum. Just like every other business, when you change your attitude towards them, they got to shut their doors. So, be aware of the obstructionist tactics. Be aware of the fact that these people do not want you to ever come to your actuality and be aware that the moment that you actually come to cognizance of this and can properly execute it, you'll start to see a change or a redemption or a redemptive factor come to you in your commercial affairs. Last but not least, make sure you update your UCC1 every five years. You know, make sure you keep it on record. Make sure you update your paperwork. If you change your domicile somewhere else, update your paperwork. If they don't allow you to file your paperwork in one state, file it in another state because you have what's called full faith and credit. 
according to their United States Constitution. Full faith and credit means that all acts, judicial proceedings, and records shall be accepted in one state as it is in the other state with full faith and acceptance, which is the credit, which is basically saying if you're born in in, 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 in Washington state, but you move to Arizona, your Washington birth certificate is good as, as good as Arizona as it is in Washington. So what's the difference between a UCC one? Same thing. Don't let nobody fool y'all when it comes to this stuff. And if anyone's tried to trick y'all with these expensive processes and try to make y'all pay an arm and a leg, let me tell y'all something. Them people work for the motherfucking folks or their own self, their own self interest. Either or it's one and the same. One's a direct agent and one's an indirect agent. Either way, they're still agent. It is what it is, people. Y'all stay tuned. Fire's coming. Peace. Light. Love. Agents, you know what it is. Y'all know what I'm saying is true. It is what it is. Y'all some motherfucking frauds. Y'all been practicing this shit amongst people, stealing their property, stealing their hard-earned fiat, and making sure that y'all keep them people subjugated by economic warfare. The game is up. We're tired of going to play the game. The chessboard is even. And we will move these pieces accordingly, because guess what? When we learn the rules and we act accordingly, according to the script now, we ain't doing our own thing on some anarchy shit. We just going by what the remedy is to keep ourselves out of liability. That's all we doing. We're going to keep hitting hard in the discussion. Take care, y'all. Peace.